Hail Swabies, it's you Cappy. So, um, I may not have learned my lesson about forgetting to hit the record button. This is like the third time I've started this video. Fortunately, um, I haven't actually started playing yet. I always realize as I log in that I've forgotten to start recording. So, on that note, we are in the year question mark. I mean, Lucka and Marl were, were stuck here, so let's see what we can figure out. Let's go to the Trandome. Uh, yes, I do have cash. Ooh. <laughs> New toys for everybody. Save money, it'll do you good. That's my motto. Give me a minute, buddy. I'm going to give all this stuff back to you. I've actually got quite a bit of stuff to sell at this point. Alright, everybody's defense is up. Chrono still has the only decent attack in this whole party. Sell some of this. The karate gi. I'm not doing karate anymore. I'm on to iron suits. Jeez. I got enough stuff there. I think I came out with more money than I did when I left. Thanks for buying all my stuff, buddy. You'll find some food at Aristome to the northeast, but only if you get past Lab 16. Beasts there don't react to weapons like guns and swords. Huh. So, magic. True stone? Never heard of it. This is Trandome. Kingdom, what are you talking about? If you're looking for food, you lose. Oh no, another door we can't get to. This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it still leaves you hungry. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I need to rest up. Shwing! Oh. I hate it when I'm still hungry. Alright, I think it's safe to say we're probably in the future. Future land. Let's go to the northeast. through Lab 16. Die, mouse! Whether they react or not... <clears throat> look like Chrono still does a ton of damage to these guys. Little octopod guys. Flame toss around her. So, uh. I definitely remember when I was younger, this is when I started to really feel like the game was starting to get interesting. Also, that flame toss did no damage. This is ridiculous. Um. <clears throat> and I actually still kind of feel that way. I feel like we've just barely gotten through the kind of. You know, almost tutorial. Oh, he stole my stuff! You know, almost tutorial phase of this game. We're still kind of... What's a Berserker? Um... Geez, sorry, sorry guys, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, <clears throat> I still feel like we're, we're kind of just barely getting to the point where we're into the game. We know who our characters are. Um... You know, we're still a little lost, you know, but we at least have gotten past the first few, um, first few dungeons, the first boss. We're kind of at a point where at least we're starting to, you know, actually play the game now, it feels like. Come 
Come on, you guys. Alright, so this is something we haven't seen yet. Well, we're not going to use that. Uh, Marl's tech actually allows you to heal your buddies. So, <clears throat> that's a huge bonus that we can go ahead and heal through magic. Especially because that means we don't have to rely totally on all of our uh, tonics that keep getting jacked by these rats. I thought I could kill them and get them back, but clearly I cannot. So let's shoot these crater dudes and end this. And by end this, I mean, I mean wait until Chrono can end this. Da, 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 da. Oh wait, wrong game. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Alright, don't, don't steal my stuff, don't steal my stuff, don't steal my stuff! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, it was a trap! I feel like Lucka would be the Admiral Akbar of this group. It's a trap! Right? Am I right? Or am I just... wrong? I suppose that's the only other option is wrong, right? Um, <clears throat> so, Chrono Trigger. When I was first introduced to Chrono Trigger, I, uh... I, I was a very imaginative child. Um, I was introduced to Chrono Trigger actually uh, uh, after the Super Nintendo generation was over. Um, I actually had already gotten my Nintendo 64. I was, you know, a super cool kid, right? Because I uh, was rocking my Ocarina of Time, playing some Goldeneye. And so, hey, look, another free load sword. Um, so I remember one of my good buddies at the time, he, dang it, stop stealing my stuff! He and his family, like his uh, older brother and his younger brother, played a lot of, uh, played a lot of video games, and I just, like, looking back, they were on top of it. Like, they always knew what the, what the cool games are. Um, I'm kind of jealous, because, like, they had a copy of Chrono Trigger, they had Earthbound, they introduced me to Final Fantasy VII, like, um, those guys were just on top of all the cool games. Anyway, so I remember, uh, they had gotten, um, I don't know if they'd just gotten the copy of Chrono Trigger, or if they had, you know, pulled it out, or, anyway, so my buddy, the, the one that I was closest in age to, was telling me all about this game, and... You know, you travel through time and whatever else, and I don't know why in the world, but I thought it was like a first-person shooter game. So I remember him telling me about this this Chrono Trigger game, and I was like, man, that sounds so dumb. Um, <clears throat> especially because I'm not, I just have never been a huge uh, shooter guy. I do enjoy the occasional shooter. There are some out there that I think are brilliant, fantastic games, but overall, just never been a shooter fan. And I remember that um, I came over to his house and we started playing Chrono Trigger, and I was hooked. Locked in, hooked. Um, <clears throat> then and now, my favorite character is still Frog. Dude is the man. Later on, we're going to meet one of my other favorite characters. I'm going to try not to talk about him a lot right now. Um, because he's super cool, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to ruin it. I want you guys to be able to enjoy the experience with me, instead of having me, like I said, ruin the experience for you. Um, now, uh, my buddy's older brother was pretty smart. <laughs> he, he didn't let anybody borrow his game, so I only got to play Chrono Trigger when I came over to their house. And since there were three brothers, they all kept up the save files, so I only got to play... You know, I could have played on one of their files, but basically I played the beginning of the game over and over and over and over again. So that's why even now, years later, after, you know, such a long time having not played this game, I still remember a lot of the things from the beginning of this game. Like, for these guys, for example, I think they actually have a trick of some kind. 
some type of counterattack, or you do more damage when they're in a different mode or something. Hopefully that dual attack will just waste them and we'll be done. Yeah, there we go. Um, <clears throat> ooh, provoke. Now I feel like that means somebody's going to attack her, but let's just double check and see what, what provoke does. Oh, it confuses the enemy. That's cool. Um... Okay. So... Oh, gosh. Those guys are so freaky. Those guys have always freaked me out. These little red... Whatever they are. Herpes monsters, maybe? I don't know. They're terrifying. If this is what the future holds, I do not want to time travel. Mutant. Does that mean that was once a human? Or is the mutant something else? Oh, jeez, what's it doing? Jiminy Christmas! This is a horrifying creature! Oh, I'm glad he's dead. I don't like him. He's a nasty. Ooh, an ether. Okay, oh dang it, they're on different sides. I think I'm gonna drop a cyclone on those two over to the left and see what we can do. See if I can end them. Oh, I remember! Yeah! These, uh, these are the enemies, so, you know, when that dude was, uh, telling me how there's monsters that don't get hurt by swords or guns. <laughs> these are those monsters. So, let's use Slash. I think Slash is considered a magic attack. Perfect. And then use Flame Toss. If I was smart, I would have used flame toss, on the, uh, flame toss on the two on the left. I might have been able to hit both of them that way. Yeah, let's use Aura on yourself. And another Slash. Alright, see? We're learning together! <laughs> you know, huh? This is another one of those situations. Those guys only had one hit point. It makes me sad to waste so much power on little losers. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Boom! Let's end them all. Um... <clears throat> anyway, so a lot of the really cool games that I was introduced to, I was introduced to through this family. Um, also... Like I said, they had a copy of Earthbound. Um, they probably still do, if they're smart and still awesome. But, um, that's one of those games that is way, way expensive to get the original cartridge. Hopefully, there will be a day I get to play Earthbound on this channel and show you guys Earthbound. Um, it's a really cheeky game. Um, a fun game. Clever. There are aspects about it I don't like. Um, if I'm going to play an RPG, I like one like Chrono Trigger like this, where I get to see all of my characters and, you know, the weapons change and whatever. You know, you'll notice that now Lucka, um, her gun looks pretty much the same, but when she shoots, it looks different than it did before. Um... You know, I like those types of things in my in my RPGs, and in Earthbound, um, you don't see the characters when you fight, you just see the enemy. So, it's, and I mean, overall, it's just not as graphical a game. Um, but it's something you kind of just deal with so that you get to play the, you know, get to play the game and enjoy the experience. Um... You know, it's one con in a game full of pros, so you just kind of get over it. Um, that's actually why I think it's Dragon Quest. I haven't gotten way, way into Dragon Quest. It's the same way, and it's been hard for me to break through that, you know, ooh, this is not what I'm used to. 
All right, so we have made it to the new dome. Uh, I think they called this, no, we came from Tran, this is Eris Dome or something. You there, where are you from? Uh, we came from the laboratories to the west. Wh what Hey, we've got people who crossed the ruins. Say again? You're joking! So there are people who can beat up those freaky mutants. Yeah, it's, uh, it's mostly me. Chrono. Check out my beefy arms and load sword. Who are you? Uh, I just told you. Chrono, beefy arms, load sword. Daddy's gonna bring us some food! My husband went down to the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Wah, wah, wah. Did you really come from the dome to the west? Uh, yeah. I see. Not that I really care. Huh. I think you're lying to me. A time portal? What in the... Well, guess we can get our own information using our computer. Okay. Pardon me, I'm Doan, the descendant of the director of this info center. In the basement, there's a huge computer and a storage center for food, but we can't get through because of the robot guards. It's a pity. Uh, have you told this lady that her husband's probably shot by robot guards? There's an old factory site called Protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of lunatic robots in the area. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off of Death Peak. Huh. <laughs> yeah. That sounds awful. It's a terrible place. There's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. Mm, sounds like my kind of crackpot. The door with the crest? Dynamite won't budge it. Unlucky. Hey, kid, what are you doing? Have any money? <laughs> yeah? Well, I gotta lighten my inventory anyway. So, I think I'm probably good on items. Yeah, Alright, I should probably buy a couple of these heals. Heaven knows if I don't, I'm going to get some status effects and regret it for the rest of my life. Or, you know, the next 15 minutes. Alright guys, so that's about the time, uh, time limit for this video. We have gone forward into the future. We have crossed some creepy ruins, some nasty mutants. Um, and now I'm thinking maybe save some dude who's looking for food? Crazy robots? Proto-dome? We'll find out. Uh, thanks, guys. No rest for the wicked. Remember, uh, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know what you think so that we can uh, improve this together. Have a great day. Bye.